great guy. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Me and Braxton decided to come uh, check cameras day. We're gonna be gone all dang day. We got a bunch of cameras to check, but it is raining. It's not quite raining this second, but it's been raining. It's a wet one. It's a wet one, but good <clears throat> gosh. Good gosh, good good God, good hell. <laughs> trying to be PG-13. Anyways, we have been needing, we have been needing water, and we finally got a day that it's raining all day here and there, so what better timing to check cameras than when it's nice and cool outside. We've been having 100 degree temps, and now I think today the high is like 72, which is a godsend for us. So we're gonna go check these cameras. Let's see what we have. Well, as you see, um, just ran into a bunch of elk. Um, the first elk you saw, they were just standing right here. A couple of small bulls. They look like cows, I'm sure, in the video, except for maybe the back. The bigger bodied one was a little bit bigger bull. I mean, just small though, maybe a two year old, one and a half year old. The first one was definitely a, this year's spike. And then I just had a whole herd of cows and calves run up on this ridge line that we're actually walking up on. So we're gonna let them get ahead a little bit and then we'll go up in there, but that's a good sign. That means we're gonna have them on camera. Oh, there's some elk running right here. If you can see them. So, yeah, there's there's elk everywhere in here, that's cool. So, we just got into the meadow where uh, that uh, those elk just ran through. And for those of you that have never hunted elk, there is no better smell than the smell of elk when you uh, run into them fresh. Oh, there's a Elk right up here on top of this hill looking at us. So, there's elk all over in here. This is mine Braxton's secret spot. And this is why elk everywhere. I mean, look at this. Look how gorgeous this area is. That's why the elk hang out up here.
So we just got to our camera spot. And already I can see that the elk have been messing with the camera. Because as you can see, our straps pulled down. The, I don't know what the lock cable's doing actually. It's <laughs> so when we first came in, this wasn't all barren like this. But they have been all over in here. So picked a pretty good spot. <laughs> All right, so I've got the camera reset. You can see the elk have been tearing that spot up. All we did was literally take these, oh, let's see, the spongy, spongy logs. And all we do is we just set them up and uh, set them right on the path. That way they kind of have to stop and they usually check it out. So you don't even have to run salt or anything. You just put something on their path that they're used to taking and uh they kind of get curious on the why there's logs sitting in the middle of their trail especially especially when they're stacked up like that but yeah on to our next set of cameras Not a bad day so far, a bad morning. The only crappy part is we're on the very north end of the unit. We have about an hour and a half drive to get to where our other cameras are. So we found, we got to the road. Braxton's hiking up, grabbing the side by side. I uh, had a wanted to come check out this little hill it drops off and I wanted to scout that so I went over there left my pack hanging up by the road he's grabbing the side by side and I'm gonna bring it back down to me and we'll get on the side by side head back down load up at the truck and then go from there go hit up our other spots Got rebirth. <laughs> oh, I'm falling. <laughs> the stuff that nobody sees oh, when you're filming. Uh -huh. The stuff nobody sees when you're filming. And I'm filming with like a five year old cell phone because I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> 